Hello everyone, this time I'd like to review a third party grip plate for Olympus OMD EM5 Mark II. Uh, I purchased this grip plate from eBay for approximately uh, 8.5 US dollar. With 8.5 US dollar, uh, actually it has a decent look and quality uh, for the price. It's, uh, it has a leather look, but it's definitely not a genuine leather. Uh, and I never had chance to test this and uh, I have no idea how its durability. This grip plate has a simple design and basic function uh, to provide extra protection for the camera. And also there is a little bit of extra curve here, as you can see, it's to provide extra grip for our hand. One extra feature from this grip plate is the opening for the battery door and secured with the clip lock, which is quite handy. Uh, Olympus camera is well known with not a very useful hand grip, well at least for the M5 and the EM5 Mark II. So as you can see on my EM5 Mark II, here is not much for a hand grip although it's a little bit better than the first EM5 camera. Well, but still, it's not the best grip of a camera ever. <laughs> so as you can see, the position of my palm and my fingers, so it's, it's almost impossible to have a comfortable and secure grip on this camera. Ideally, we want to have a camera grip somehow holding at this position. So there's a huge gap here between the camera body and my fingers where I'm positioning now my hand as when I'm holding a common larger DSLR camera body. So I bought this in order to have a better hand grip on the camera. Actually there is also another type of the grip plate made of aluminium, it's sturdier and more expensive. I think it's about three or four times more expensive than this one. I was thinking to get that other version but unfortunately, according to some reviews, it doesn't work very well. Especially on the gap between the grip and the lens, the gap is very narrow and sometimes can make your fingers stuck in between. Moreover, when using bigger lens such as the Olympus Pro lenses, the grip somehow can rub against the lens body, which is something that we don't want to have, of course. So I ended up with this option and I think with eight and a half US dollar, why don't I give a try? Now let's have a look how this grip plate uh, perform when we attach this to the camera. So this is very simple. We just place the plate at the bottom of the camera and then uh, we check the other sides of the camera to make sure that the plate is aligned perfectly. At the bottom of the plate, there is a screw to secure the plate. And the good thing is that the screw has a female screw hole. So you can easily attach the camera and the plate to the tripod. Now let's check the battery door opening. Uh, it's work well, no problem when we are changing the battery, which is very good. On the right hand side, you can see that the SD card slot door is also accessible, which is great. But unfortunately on the left hand side of the camera, the door for the HDMI port and the audio jack is completely blocked. It's quite annoying, but that's okay for me. There is a little of problem when we are extending the fully articulating screen. Uh, the grip plate is a little bit too thick, so flipping the screen is quite difficult. As you can see here, even more difficult to flip it back. And that's another drawback from the grip plate. So be careful when doing that. I turn the camera on and there's no problem with it. And this is the view from the front of the camera. 
As you see here on the camera grip area, the plate is not covering the camera body. Instead, its curve is creating an extra extension for a better hand grip. So how does it feel now? I think this grip plate is giving a lot of improvement on the camera hand grip. But still, it's not perfect when it compared to the aluminium or metal grip plate for this camera or to the common DSLR camera. However, again, I don't have much complaint about it. It does give better grip and secure feeling when I'm holding this camera. So as a summary, I don't have much complaint about this grip plate, considering the price is relatively cheap. For n and half US dollar, I think it's worth to try. So thank you for watching this review. Hopefully it helps you making decisions when you're planning to purchase a grip plate for your EM5 uh, Mark II camera.